goodies welcome back to love janelle i am janelle if you are new to my channel welcome extreme sent me out a bundle pack that they have online in that pack i got six packs of pre-twisted passion twist they are 22 inches ombre colors 1b30 there are a few colors to choose from so if you are interested in this hair i'm gonna sh um, leave a link in the description so in this baggie i got six packs of these pre-twisted passion twists in each pack comes 15 of the twists this is how the twist looks it says it's handmade all of them do look a little different to one another so that's the top there it's pre-looped at the top so this is a twist and the end i can honestly say so far i don't absolutely love these i'll see how i feel once i put them in my hair is already sectioned out and ready to go it took me about half an hour to maybe 45 minutes to just twist it i wasn't really in a hurry i plaited the immediate top and then i twisted it to this point i'm going to be using a little gel on the end to help um weave these through i've never actually tried pre-twisted hair or pre-braided hair on cane rows and i'm not ready to start that now <laughs> so uh, yeah i am going to be installing them individually if i were going to try them as a cane row i would try it using my can't braid method i do already have a video on my channel showing how to do my can't braid method i actually have a few videos but basically i just plait this and to a certain point and then add it to the next and to the next so i feel like if i had tried that method just installing the braids to this it probably would look um blended and natural but i'm not sure if i'm comfortable with that yet so i am going to be doing individuals it will take a little longer but so this is the gel i'm going to be using it's the aunt jackie's coconut cream curl boss I do love this gel i love the smell it holds but not that crunchy hold it also um doesn't flake for me so i'm going to be using a little of this so just a quick recap on the hair extra and sent out six packs of hair each pack has 15 twists in it i also got a crochet needle in the pack along with some accessories to add when i'm done all right so let's see how this goes okay so i'm not even sure exactly how i'm gonna do this yet so we'll see as i start all right so grabbing the first piece of hair open the top and the reason i braided the top is just to have a secure root i didn't braid down too much so i started off with the braid as you can see to right here and the rest is kind of a twist and then it ends to nothing so I'm going to get the latch hook, have it opened, slide it under, and attach the twist. And then I'll grab both of these and attempt to pull it through. Let's see. Now I'm going to get some of the gel and then start twisting it. So my plan is to twist it up in here along anywhere there's a gap. So using this as my mirror, I see it's here. It's twisted that way. So I'm just going to add to that twist by just opening this a little. Okay, so I'm seeing kind of opening it a little bit and then wrapping it. This kind of reminds me of when I was adding my faux locks to my hair. Kind of have to open it a little and then wrap it in there. So I'll keep doing it like so. I'm going to kind of pierce this through and continue wrapping. So we're at the end almost. 
I'm just going to keep going until it all disappears. Maybe I'll slide it through here. Oh, there we go. All right. It kind of looks... Mm. Mm. wouldn't say seamless because my hair color and this and because it is ombre and I didn't realize it was ombre I just saw the two colors I didn't realize it was so different but it may just add some character yeah I'm gonna continue going like that and I'll be back once I've perfected the um technique to show you any tips and tricks that I may have with installing it. But I think the first one's okay, actually. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah. Alright, I'll be back. This is one hour later and two and a half packs. So, um, yeah. This is what it's looking like. So I wasn't originally anticipating for it to be this dense but it actually isn't very heavy it is very lightweight i don't feel like i have anything extra in my head so that's a plus it does to me it kind of looks like it's blending it's not perfect um i needed a 27 for it to be perfect but that is okay it doesn't look bad to me so i know these are supposed to be passion twists but the way they are twirled or they're twisted they kind of remind me of spring twists i feel like um Passion twists are more of a bohemian, um, loose, kind of messier look. Some of the ends are a bit frayed. Um, it isn't that bad right now. I'll see how I feel about them um, when I've gotten them all installed. Um, an hour, half my head is done. I'm just like relaxing, um, catching up on some Netflix and twisting my hair up. Um, if I were rushing, I'm sure I would have more than half done. Um, I have three packs I haven't opened this yet. And then I have all of this. I've used every single twist in all of the packs so far. So I haven't had any of the twist um, messing up, frailing, looking destroyed or anything like that. It took like half an hour um, to 45 minutes to plait my whole head or twist the base. And then it's taken me an hour to add these so in total it could possibly take you maybe two hours um me i'm just taking my time and doing it i'm not in a hurry but um i would say this hairstyle was for the average person probably three hour hairstyle from beginning to end so i'm liking that so far so uh, towards the end of the video i'm gonna come back to you and show you how it looks a week later so um stay tuned for that
I mentioned before, Xtrend sent this hair out to me to try out. And I will say a week later, I am actually loving the hair even more than when I first installed it. This is six packs of 22 inch hair. I used almost all the packs. <laughs> I used five packs and two pieces from the sixth pack. The hair color I got was 1B30. It's an ombre color. I did use the gold accessories. There were gold and silver. Um, it is synth synthetic hair. It says that it is super soft. Check, I can say it. this hair is super soft. It is tangle free. Um, it's itch free. I haven't experienced in any, I, I haven't experienced any itching. I didn't wash the hair before installing it and I've been fine. Um, shed free, yes, I haven't experienced any shedding this week. Um, there's no odor, there was no odor when I opened the packet. Manageable, yes, I will say it's manageable and that's mostly because it really is lightweight. It looks like a lot of hair and honestly I should have probably done like maybe one less pack but um, even though it looks really bulky, it's easy to maneuver because it's very lightweight, it's not heavy and it's, it's soft, see like. So um, I have a video coming up after this one um, showing how to style this hair so it's um, very, it's very flexible. Should I say flexible? Is flexible a word to use? Well it's flexible, I could do a lot with it. Easy braiding, I'm not sure what that means. It was easy to install. It says it is handmade and um, yeah, they all of the twists weren't exactly the same so I guess they were. <laughs> um, keep messing with it. So these curls are really pretty. Um, towards the end, you can see they are really nice. Um, one or two of them did look a little matted. Not that badly, but it was a little matted when I got them. So I was worried that throughout the week or throughout me wearing the hair, it will get really knotty and look horrible. Um, it hasn't done so as yet. It still looks quite nice. So check for that. Um, the color, I really do love the color. I uh, The way it was blended in looks really nice. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think of it. If you do have any questions, put that in the comment section down below. Thanks to Xtrend for sending this hair out. Again, I am going to put it in the description bar. Um, any links that you may want to Xtrend this particular hair or just see what else they have to offer on their Amazon page. Subscribe for more videos and until next time, lovelies. Bye. Bye.